Evolution is fascinating because it explains the diversity of life on Earth, including the development of complex organisms from simple ancestors. It also provides a scientific explanation for the similarities and differences among different species, and it helps us understand how organisms adapt to their environments over time. But how much do you know about evolution? I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 facts you probably didn't know about evolution. Twenty-five Complex Eyes Mantis shrimp have evolved highly complex eyes that can detect a wide range of light, including ultraviolet, visible, and polarized light. This allows them to see a much wider range of colors and patterns than most other animals, which can be an important advantage in their underwater environment. Mantis shrimp eyes are also capable of rapid movement and can move independently from each other, which allows them to process multiple visual cues at the same time. This advanced visual system has evolved because of the unique ecological pressures in its environment. 24. Echolocation Some species of bats have evolved the ability to use echolocation, also known as sonar, to navigate and locate their prey in the dark. Echolocation is a process where bats emit high-pitched sounds and then listen back for the echoes that bounce from the objects in their environment. By analyzing the echoes, bats can determine the location, size, shape, and distance of objects around them, including the flying insects that they use as prey. This ability has evolved because of the bats' nocturnal lifestyle, which required them to navigate and hunt in complete darkness. Echolocation is also found in some species of whales and dolphin. 23. Panoramic Vision Did you know some species of chameleons have evolved the ability to independently move each eye in different directions? This is known as panoramic vision. It allows them to scan their environment quickly and in detail without having to you know, move their head. This is an important adaptation for chameleons as it allows them to locate and track prey while also keeping an eye out for predators. Additionally, this ability also allows them to look at different angles and distances simultaneously, which is an important feature for hunting and escaping predators. This ability has evolved because of the chameleon's arboreal lifestyle, which required them to have a wide field of view to navigate through their environment. 22. Toxic Saliva Some species of reptiles, such as the Komodo dragon, have evolved the ability to produce toxic saliva. Komodo dragons have venomous saliva which contains a variety of toxic enzymes that can cause severe bleeding, shock, and death in their prey. These enzymes can cause blood vessels to rupture and clotting mechanisms to fail. This venomous saliva is a potent adaptation for the Komodo dragon as it allows them to subdue their prey even if they're not able to strike it with a killing bite. This ability has evolved because of the Komodo dragon's diet, which primarily consists of large, dangerous animals, such as deer and water buffalo, which are difficult to kill with physical strength alone. 21. How did elephants evolve? The ancestors of elephants and other mammals belong to a group of animals called therapsids, which were a diverse group of synapsids that lived during the late Permian and Triassic periods, about 260 to 200 million years ago. These therapsids were the first group of land animals to evolve a true jaw joint, which allowed them to chew food more efficiently. They also had a single jawbone, the dentary, which would eventually give rise to the jawbones of mammals. The evolution of this jaw joint was a crucial step in the development of mammals, as it allowed for the evolution of more complex teeth and the development of specialized teeth for different types of food. 20. Birds that fly without flapping their wings. Some species of birds, such as the albatross, have evolved the ability to fly for long periods without flapping their wings. This is known as dynamic soaring. It allows them to glide on currents of air and thermals, which are upward moving columns of warm air. This technique allows them to fly for hours without expending much energy, which is an important adaptation for albatrosses as they often need to fly long distances over the open ocean for food. This type of flight is also found in other seabirds, such as frigate birds, pelicans, and some species of eagles, vultures, and hawks. This adaptation is a result of the selective pressure of their environment, which requires them to be able to fly efficiently over long distances to survive. 19. Axolotl Regeneration Axolotls are a type of amphibian that can regenerate lost limbs, the spinal cord, the heart, and other organs. 
This ability is due to the presence of specialized cells called blastomas, which can differentiate into any type of cell needed to rebuild the missing tissue. This ability is unique to axolotls and some other species of salamanders. It's not found in any other adult vertebrates. Scientists are studying the regenerative abilities of axolotls in the hopes that they can one day develop new treatments for human injury and diseases. The ability to regenerate is a result of the selective pressure of their environment, which requires them to have a high capacity of self-repair to survive. 18. Bioluminescence Bioluminescence is the ability to produce light. It has independently evolved in a wide range of organisms across many different groups, including fireflies, deep sea fish, squid, and various types of plankton. This ability has evolved because of different selective pressures in different environments. For example, fireflies use bioluminescence for communication during courtship, deep sea fish use it for camouflage, and plankton use it as a defensive mechanism against predators. Bioluminescence is also used for hunting, as well as for communication and social behaviors among some species. Bioluminescence is produced by chemical reactions within an organism's cells, which generate light through the conversion of energy from a chemical substrate into light energy. Also, all throughout Pandora, if you watch Avatar, bioluminescence everywhere. <laughs> 17. Electric shocks. Some species of fish, such as the electric eel, have evolved the ability to generate electric shocks. Electric eels can produce electric discharges of up to 600 volts, which they use for hunting and self-defense. Electric eels have specialized cells called electrocytes, which are stacked in series along the length of their body. These cells store and release electrical charge, allowing the eel to generate powerful electric shocks. Electric eels are actually freshwater fish. They're not true eels. They belong to a different family known as the Electrophoridae. Electric eels use their electric shock to stun or kill their prey, and also to defend themselves against predators. This adaptation is a result of the selective pressure of their environment, which requires them to have a powerful weapon to survive in the rivers and streams of the Amazon and Orinoco basins. 16. Horses used to be dog-sized. Did you know that the ancestors of modern horses evolved from small forest-dwelling mammals around 55 million years ago? The first horses were small, dog-sized creatures that lived in forests and had several toes on each foot. Over time, these early horses evolved to adapt to the grasslands, which were spreading across the earth at the time. They gradually developed longer legs and a single hoof on each foot, which allowed them to run faster and cover more ground in search of food. Additionally, they also developed larger teeth and jaws that were better suited for eating grass. This gradual evolution over millions of years led to the development of the modern horse, which is well adapted to life on open grasslands. 15. Leaf Insects Leaf insects have evolved to mimic the shape, color, and texture of leaves, which allows them to blend in with their surroundings and avoid being seen by predators. Some species of leaf insect can even mimic the movement of a leaf in the wind to further camouflage themselves. This adaptation is known as Crypsis, and it's a common form of camouflage in the animal kingdom. This adaptation is because their environment requires them to have a high capacity for mimicry to survive. Leaf insects are found in the tropical forests of Southeast Asia and Africa, and they're herbivores that feed on leaves and flowers. 14. Reversed Evolution The process of evolution can lead to the reversal of certain traits, such as the loss of wings in flightless birds. Flightless birds are, well, just that, birds that have lost the ability to fly due to a genetic mutation or environmental pressure. These birds are found on many of the world's islands, such as the penguins in Antarctica, the ostrich in Africa, and the kiwi in New Zealand. The loss of flight in these birds is a result of a process called regression, which is the reverse of the process of adaptation to flight. This occurs when the selective pressure of the environment changes, making the flight less important for survival. For example, in the case of flightless birds on islands, the absence of land predators and the abundance of food sources make flying less important for survival, so the birds that couldn't fly had a higher chance of survival and reproduction, and therefore passed on those characteristics to the next generation. Eventually, those characteristics became the norm for the species. You know, evolution. 13. The Origin of Plants The first land plants evolved from aquatic algae around 500 million years ago. The transition from aquatic to terrestrial environments was a major step in the evolution of plants. The first land plants were, you know, simple, small, and low-lying. 
and they evolved adaptations that allowed them to survive in the drier, harsher conditions of the land. These adaptations include the development of roots for water and nutrient absorption, the evolution of a waxy cuticle to prevent water loss, and the development of spores for reproduction instead of relying on water for fertilization. These early plants eventually gave rise to the diverse array of plant life we see today, including mosses, ferns, and seed plants such as conifers and flowering plants. 12. Walking Fish Some species of fish, such as mudskippers and lungfish, have evolved the ability to walk on land using their fins. Mudskippers are found in mangrove swamps. They can walk on land using their pectoral fins, which have been modified to function as legs. They can move about on land for short periods of time to forage for food or, you know, to escape from predators. Lungfish are freshwater fish that are found in Africa, South America, and Australia. They have specialized lungs that allow them to survive in stagnant water or during droughts by coming to the surface to gulp air. They can also use their fins to move on land for short distances. 11. Genetic diversity through sex. Evolutionary theory suggests that sex, the process of producing offspring with a combination of genetic material from two parents, evolved to promote genetic diversity within a population. Genetic diversity is the variation of genetic material within a population, and it can increase the ability of a population to adapt to changing environmental conditions. By shuffling and recombining genetic material during sexual reproduction, offspring are produced with a unique combination of genetic traits, some of which may be beneficial for survival and reproduction. This increased genetic diversity within a population allows for the selection of beneficial traits and the ability to adapt to new or changing environments. A population with greater genetic diversity is also less likely to be wiped out by a disease or environmental change that affects a single genetic variant. Therefore, sexual reproduction allows for greater flexibility and adaptability in a population over time. 10. How old is the concept of evolution? Well, the word evolution was first used in English by the philosopher Herbert Spencer in 1864 in the context of biological evolution. However, the concept of evolution has been around for centuries before that, but it wasn't always referred to as evolution. Charles Darwin, who is widely recognized as the father of evolution, used the term descent with modification in his 1859 book On the Origin of Species to describe his theory of how species change over time through natural selection. Darwin's work laid the foundation for the modern theory of evolution, which describes how species change over time through the process of natural selection. 9. Evolution on Other Planets The principles of evolution by natural selection are a fundamental aspect of the natural world and are likely to occur wherever life exists. This means that the process of evolution could happen in any place with the right conditions, such as the presence of energy and matter, and a stable environment that allows for reproduction and genetic variation. While the specific outcomes of evolution may be different on other planets or moons, the basic process of evolution by natural selection is expected to be universal. However, there is currently no direct evidence of life beyond Earth. Yet, it's gotta be out there. We can't be alone. That's lonely. 8. Human Interbreeding Humans and other extinct human-like species, such as Neanderthals and Denisovans, interbred in the past. Studies of the human genome have revealed that modern humans carry genetic traces of interbreeding with Neanderthals and Denisovans, as well as other extinct human-like species. The exact timing and extent of this interbreeding is still a topic of ongoing research, but it's believed that it occurred tens of thousands of years ago, when modern humans first encountered these other human-like species in Europe and Asia. The interbreeding events have resulted in the transfer of genetic material between the populations, which has contributed to the genetic diversity of modern humans. This interbreeding has also led to the retention of certain genetic traits that were beneficial to the survival of early humans in those regions. 7. Viruses also evolve. Not only living organisms, but also viruses can evolve. And due to their high rate of replication and mutation, viruses can change more rapidly than any other organism. Viruses are not considered living organisms by some definition. They are acellular and they can't reproduce on their own, and it depends on a host cell to replicate. Viruses are genetic material, DNA or RNA, surrounded by a protein coat. They can infect a wide range of organisms, including plants, animals, and bacteria. 
The high rate of replication and mutation in viruses allows them to adapt quickly to changing environments and to evade the host's immune system. This is one of the reasons why some viral infections are difficult to treat and why viruses like influenza and HIV can constantly evolve and evade vaccines. 6. Behavioral Evolution Evolution doesn't only happen to the physical characteristics of organisms, but also to their behavior patterns. Behavioral traits such as mating rituals, hunting strategies, and social behaviors can also evolve in response to environmental pressures. For example, certain mating behaviors may be selected for because they increase the chances of successful reproduction, while others may be selected against because, well, they don't. Similarly, hunting strategies that are successful in capturing prey are likely to be passed on to future generations, while those that are not will be phased out. The social behaviors of animals can also evolve in response to environmental pressures. For example, the formation of complex societies, such as those found in ants, bees, and humans, may have evolved to increase the chances of survival and reproduction. 5. Humans and chimpanzees share 98% of the same DNA. Yeah, you heard that right. Humans and chimpanzees are genetically very similar, with the two species sharing 98% of the same DNA. This makes chimpanzees our closest living relatives in the animal kingdom. The genetic similarity between humans and chimps is the result of a common ancestry that dates back millions of years ago. Over time, the two species have diverged and evolved into distinct forms, but they have retained many similar genetic traits due to that shared ancestry. The study of genetic similarities and differences between humans and chimps is an important area of research in the field of evolutionary biology as it helps to shed light on the evolutionary process that has shaped both species. It's worth noting that many other primates, like gorillas, orangutans, and bonobos, are also closely related to humans, with a genetic distance of around 96 to 97 percent. 4. Our Common Ancestor Studies on genetics have shown that all living humans share a common ancestor who lived around 300,000 years ago. This is based on the analysis of the genetic variation present among living humans today. By studying the genetic diversity of different human populations and comparing it to the genetic diversity of other primates, scientists have been able to infer the existence of a common ancestor for all living humans. This common ancestor is believed to have lived in Africa around 300,000 years ago, and is the point from which all living humans are descended. From this common ancestor, different human populations then expanded and migrated around the world, adapting to different environments and developing unique genetic variations over time. Three. Opposable thumbs and large brains. Many of the features we consider to be unique to humans, such as, you know, opposable thumbs and large brains, have evolved independently in other animals. Opposable thumbs, for example, are found in primates, such as chimpanzees and orangutans, and also in some other mammals, like raccoons, opossums, and some marsupials. These thumbs are adaptations that allow for a greater degree of dexterity and manipulation of objects, which is beneficial for, you know, grasping and using tools. Similarly, large brains have evolved independently in other animals, such as cetaceans, uh, dolphins and whales, elephants, and certain species of birds, like crows and parrots, which have cognitive abilities that are comparable to those of great apes. The evolution of large brains is a result of the selective pressures of their environment, which requires them to have high capacity of problem-solving memory and communication to survive. Two, the oldest land-dwelling animal. The oldest known fossil of a land-dwelling animal is a millipede-like creature that lived around 428 million years ago. The fossil, which was found in Scotland, belongs to the genus Pneumotismus and is considered to be one of the earliest known terrestrial arthropods. Arthropods are a group of animals that include insects, spiders, and crustaceans and are characterized by their exoskeletons, segmented bodies, and jointed appendages. This fossil is an important discovery for understanding the evolution of land-dwelling animals as it predates the previous earliest known land-dwelling animal fossils by around 20 million years. The transition from aquatic to terrestrial environments was a major step in the evolution of life, and the discovery of this fossil provides evidence that arthropods were among the first animals to make this transition. 1. Evolution is random. Evolution is a random process that's driven by genetic variation and natural selection. Genetic variation arises through mutations and natural selection acts on these variations, favoring those that increase an organism's chances of survival and reproduction. 
Evolution doesn't have a specific direction or goal, and it's not guided by an intelligent design. It's a natural process that can lead to both beneficial and detrimental changes. The traits that increase an organism's chances of survival and reproduction are passed on to the next generation, while those that decrease their chances of survival are phased out. This process can lead to the development of new species as well as the extinction of existing species. So, what are some other facts about evolution that we may have missed? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any other new content, including our shorts. Shorts? What are shorts? Don't miss our shorts or our shorts. That sounds very Yiddish. Ah, don't miss our shorts. <laughs> Also, please join our Discord. That's growing daily. Uh, I'd love to have you guys in there. Talk with the community. Become a community. We are all one. Let's evolve as a community. <laughs> and then if you can, please think about helping the channel out, uh, donating, becoming a member, so we can keep bringing this amazing content to you. I appreciate it. I love you guys. And as always, I'll see you next time. Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.